Hi, I'm Mark McKillier with LiveAnabolic.com. And in this workout, you're gonna see me do a fantastic back and bicep workout today. Now guys, this is very similar to the workouts that I put in my Fit After 50 workout program. Now, I just wanted to give you guys just a little taste of what's involved in that comprehensive three-phase, three-month program. So, follow along today. We're gonna to be doing two exercises for our back and two exercises for our biceps. Now, guys, everybody likes working our biceps, all right? I know it, it's a real showy muscle group. The thing is, most of you guys out there never even think about working your back. So why is that so important? Guess what, guys? This V-shaped here. See, if you, have a, if you have great lats and a big back, it makes your body look like a V. It also, guess what? makes your waist look smaller. No matter how much fat you have around your stomach, if you can build big, wide shoulders and a big, wide back, it's gonna make your waist look much smaller. So guys, we rarely have our shirts off, right? So a big, wide back looks great in clothes. Same thing with biceps, guys. If you're wearing short sleeves, you can always see your biceps. So I wanna show you these four different exercises and the way I like to put these workouts together is I like to alternate the muscle groups, all right? So you're gonna notice that we're gonna do back and then we'll do some biceps. And then we'll go back and do back and then we'll do some biceps. So why do I like to do that? Well guys, it gives the other muscle group a little bit of time to recuperate. So your heart and your lungs are still pumping away, okay? And they're sending fresh oxygen rich blood back to that muscle group that's resting while we're doing our biceps, okay? So I'll do my back, it'll get fatigued, then we'll hit our biceps, which will get fatigued. We'll go back to our back, which guess what? It's had about 60 seconds rest. And the other thing about this design or this concept is that it cramps a lot of exercises and a lot of reps into a really small time frame. So you guys don't have an hour, hour and a half to work out every day, right? I designed my programs to be for guys over 50, hell 40, doesn't matter. All you guys have got families, you've got jobs, you don't have all the time in the world to work out like all these young ripped 20 year olds, okay? So time efficiency is important. The other thing is it's interesting and compelling, okay? You're never going to get bored with any of my workouts in the Fit After 50 workout plan. So. Follow along, I'm gonna show you how to do these exercises. We're gonna do 10 reps on each exercise. We're gonna take very little time going from exercise to exercise. That's gonna keep our metabolic rate real high, which causes, causes us to burn more calories, not just while we're doing the workout, but it will also elevate our rate for hours after the workout's over, which means we'll be continuing to burn more and more calories than we would if we were doing just a traditional workout plan. All right, so the very first exercise we're gonna do is something called a one-arm dumbbell row. This is for my back. Now guys, it's a big muscle group, which means you can do a lot of weight, okay? You can, if you don't have a coffee table, you can support your weight on your off knee, okay? And then I'm just kind of pulling the dumbbell straight up and backwards. So I want my elbow to come back towards my rear hip. Don't pull it straight up like this, okay? I don't want the dumbbell coming up to your chest. I want the dumbbell coming backwards towards your hip, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of these. And notice the tempo, guys. I'm controlling the weight down and up, okay? And so I'm letting it go to full extension in the bottom. I'm getting a nice stretch in my muscles. And then I'm really contracting and pulling that elbow as high as I can back towards my hip. So I want you to do 10 reps on each side and then real simple we're just going to put the dumbbell down and switch over to the other hand okay and you don't have to support yourself on your knee you can use a coffee table or a chair okay but you don't need any equipment when you do it this way so one two Really feeling this in my lats and my rhomboids. At the top, if you can just hold it for a split second, okay? 
just a little half count at the top and then control that weight on the way down. Okay. All right, now I can't curl as much as I can row, so I need to change the weight real quick. All right, so we were doing one arm back exercises, and now I'm gonna do a two arm curl for my bicep. So these are called hammer curls. Now, my palms are facing towards my thighs. This is kind of a neutral grip position here. And I wanna keep my palms in that same position throughout the entire range of motion, okay? Now hammer curls are unique in that we're not just working our bicep muscles here, okay? There's a brachialis muscle, okay, that is underneath your biceps. It's part of the bicep muscle complex. And this particular hand position really focuses on that brachialis muscle. Something that you can't really see when you flex your arm because it's under the other muscles, but guess what? When it gets bigger, it pushes those other bicep muscles out of the way. It makes them stand up taller and it makes them fatter. And it really adds a lot of size to your arms, okay? So after we do 10 reps of these, put them down. We're gonna go to our next back exercise. Now guys, I think we can use the same weight here. Some of you guys might want to go a little heavier, just depends. I'm gonna, these are called bear rows, okay? This is a really fun exercise here, guys. So you're gonna get in a position like this, okay? All right, almost like a bear, okay? And then I'm just gonna row one, one. We're gonna do 10 on each side. So, very similar to the other rowing exercise we did. I'm pulling the dumbbell back towards my hip. All right, I wanna get all the way up and I wanna control the weight up and down and hold it for just a split second at the top. And guys, because of course I'm talking to you, I can't keep track of the number of reps. So you're gonna have to give me a little leeway here. I'm guessing at 10 reps on each arm, All right, whew. so guess what? I'm out of breath now, right? What does that mean? It means my heart's pumping a lot harder. It means my metabolic rate has increased. It means I'm burning more calories doing a workout this way versus the more traditional way where you just do hammer curls, you put them down, you wait for 60 seconds, you do some more hammer curls, put them down, wait for another 60 seconds, all right? That's great if you're only into bodybuilding, okay? That's an effective way to build muscle, no doubt about it. But guys, I want you to build muscle and lose fat. Because guess what? Once you hit your 40s, 50s, 60s, we're all struggling to keep that body fat off. It's just the way it works. Remember, our testosterone starts to drop slowly but surely after we hit about 29 or 30 years old. So when you're 57 like me, I might have 20, 30% less testosterone in my system than I did back in the good old days. Well, that matters because testosterone is the key male hormone that influences how much muscle we can build and just as importantly, how efficiently our body metabolizes fat. Very cruel thing that life plays on is this aging process is not fun. I'm fighting, trust me guys. So the lower our testosterone is, the more likely we are to hold on to fat and not use that fat as energy, all right? That's why all these young guys are still thin. Not necessarily because they're working out any harder than we are, but because their hormone levels are just so much higher naturally. All right, so that was one cycle, guys. Give yourself about a minute rest, maybe two if you're really breathing hard, okay? 
So now we're getting a lot of oxygen rich blood back to our muscles, our back and our biceps, all right? Shake it out a little bit. I want you to do this cycle two more times for a total of three cycles, all right? So guess what that means? That means we're doing six sets of back and six sets of biceps, 12 total sets. This shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to knock this out. So a very efficient workout plan. This is similar to some of the workouts in my Fit After 50 program. I like to use this same kind of concept of efficiency and then alternating between muscle groups. And I guarantee you guys, you need to check out the description below this video. Go to Fit After 50. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. And remember, always stick with it guys and never give up on yourself.